Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. There is a spell of cold weather on the Swedish west coast right now and it's too cold to do any modeling at the moment. So I have to keep myself busy with another project. Welcome back. The temperature in the man cave had dropped to around 15 degrees and I can't do any resin printing or painting right now. And uh, building models, it's, it's not so enjoyable, let me put it like that. And uh, even my Prusa Mini complains that it's too cold to go to work, so it simply refuses to do anything. So, I decided to use this downtime to make a foot controller for my teleprompter, so I can control it while shooting a video. As a matter of fact, I'm using it right now. So let's check out how I built it. The brains of this design is an Arduino Pro Micro, which has a USB interface that can emulate the keyboard. My foot controller will send key codes when I press a pedal. The Arduino connects to a 4 by 6 cm prototype board that I can attach to the base plate. In terms of hardware, I use compression springs, M3 hex socket cap screws, some self tapping screws for the PCB, and four Sherry MX switches. The design was made in Fusion 360 and it consists of a base plate that basically everything is mounted on. There are three pedals that can engage four switches, so with the foot controller I will be able to halt the scrolling of the text, adjust the speed up and down, and also reset to the start of the text. The M3 screws act as hinges, so it's important to use the M3 with a Dean 912 type of hexagonal head. So after finalizing the design, I was able to convince my Prusa Mini to go back to work and earn its keep. Everything was printed with PLA without any support. But in order to get a nice round shape on the big pedal in the middle, you will probably have to use some support I guess. But I didn't bother to do that as you can see. The first step of the assembly is to use an M3 thread tap to prepare for the M3 screws. This will make the assembly much easier. It can be difficult to access some of the holes. Next step is to assemble the electronics and the cable harness. The PCB is secured to the base plate using the self-tapping screws.
After the switches are placed in the square sockets, the springs are press fitted to the base as well. Now it's only the pedals left, and for that we will need the M3 screws and the an Allen screwdriver. The pedals have to be attached in a specific order, starting with the rightmost rocker type. Uh, that one is easy. The middle pedal is next and that is a little bit more tricky and needs some explanation. That was actually the reason why I did this video. To be able to reach the screw hole on the right side you will need to pry loose the cherry switch. Final step is to attach the pedal on the left side, but that is quite easy. Next we connect it to a PC computer to download the software and to test it. The software can be found at my GitHub, and I will put a link in the description to the design of Thingiverse, where you will find all the information if you are curious about this project. I use the keyboard test website to check that all the buttons behave as expected. And I will of course put the link to that in the description as well. Hope you have found this little side project interesting and thank you for watching. See you in the next episode where I will start building the Nanshang Q5 from Trumpeter.